Let's remember very, very quick. We presented this a year ago. On September 19th, 2006, this so-called mysterious object blocked the Atlantis to come back, from coming back. You never saw this image uh, in your television. However, it was broadcast by NASA in the NASA channel. This is the so-called mysterious object. And this object was along the Atlantis for at least eight hours. This no, is not coincidental. I, I said it, and if you want to check it in the conference a year ago, this was somehow a warning. And look what is happening now. Because we cannot consider this just like a coincidence, but something that was made on purpose. And this incident also embarrassed NASA because th this was the first time that NASA acknowledged that uh, an unknown uh, object uh, was witnessed or was sighted by the astronauts, causing a delay of one day in the return of the shuttle, which was unprecedented. And, uh, well, it causes a lot of commotion among the media. And let's remember now what Marianne Stephanie Chin Piper said about that mission. Please. You can turn the lights uh, a little bit yes, down. Yes, please, bring the lights down. And, and the sound up, please. It was just something that, you know, something that you've never seen before. And when I finally got to go out the door, that was something different, too. And I figured that would never happen without the uh, preparation we had draining the team. And so I'd like... As I understand, she's suffering of post-traumatic syndrome. It means that she was under stress. It happened twice to her. Let's remember one of the videos from this STS mission. I want to tell you that all these videos have been recorded by Santiago Ituria in his house directly from uh, the NASA satellite. We can see here Atlantis releasing large quantities of water. I don't know if that is water. For me, it would be stupid to just to release water into the space. And suddenly, see what is appearing on the upper part of the screen. This is a luminous object that appears from nowhere, and it's showing a rectangular shape, and it's getting near and suddenly stop. And uh, as you can see, the shape is very clear, like a rectangular, tubular shape. And remaining there, like observing this uh, operation of releasing that fluid that uh, was supposed to be water, we don't know, but suddenly it disappeared again, and it was recorded on live time, broadcast on live time by NASA. Also, it seems like a warning. We are watching you. The same thing happened on November 22nd, when Mike Lopez Alegria and Mikhail Jurin make, a, or they wanted to make a spacewalk. They uh, were planning to do a, a war, important work outside of the International Space Station, but for some reason, they could not open the hatch. There was a uh, mysterious force. Now, you can listen to the original audio that was in Russian because it was a Russian uh, team mission, but it's also translated. And, Please uh, observe this object. Observe the object outside. This is not the moon. This is not a satellite. This is not an asteroid. This is something else. Yes, it's not the moon because on the background is at night, hurt. So this was exactly between the ESS and hurt, so it's not the moon. But watch carefully and hear the, the, the audio. There is something that's on the way. Uh, let's try it this way now. Understand the reason. Maybe there is some foreign object. Maybe something is on the way. Okay, for right now, just go ahead and, and look at the entire uh, hedge. Try to inspect it. 
And you know, I'd say that the resistance is uh, pretty sufficient. Well, but I cannot see anything on my side. I cannot see any obstacles. Well, the same here. I do not see anything either. I don't understand what's going on. Let's try to close it. Okay. Yes, guys, go ahead. Close it. Use the tool. Close it completely. Materially, when the object disappears, the hatch could open. Make your guess. Again, it's like a warning. We can, if we want, we won't let you go to the space. But everybody, anybody is free to think the better conclusion. Then it came the mission STS-116. And this is, was also a very important mission because they took the first solar panels to the International Space Station, and they have many problems. Just two videos from that mission. This one, very clear. Again, we have a sighting that is like a warning. A similar object, a tool are shaped and uh, appearing and getting closer, as you can see here. Uh, this is a... Uh, during, uh, the, I think, the third day. And as you can see on the, on the left is the big panel. And uh, unexpectedly, uh, this uh, luminous object appeared from nowhere. And uh, this was live transmission by NASA. Of course, they did not uh, reply this, this uh, image later. But we got it. And again, another object, they come, they they let, let us know they are there observing. 